COVID-19 pandemic is making it difficult for anybody to ask state lawmakers for more money. Indiana veterans feel they have a compelling argument, though. CBS4's Kayla Sullivan reports what they plan to request this upcoming session. In eight years, the Military Veterans Coalition of Indiana has passed 88 laws benefiting Hoosier veterans. We're pretty proud of that. But Chairman Ron Martin says they are far from finished. We have lost 20% of our veterans here in the last eight years. Keeping veterans in Indiana is the goal. Martin feels state exemptions, scholarships for Army Reserves, and more funding for county veteran services officers would help. In some cases, they're working out of the backseat of their car. These officers provide a number of services to veterans, but one of the most crucial is filing VA claims. This allows them to uh, cut through that paperwork and, uh, and make the process uh, less painful for a veteran that needs help uh, getting services. Republican State Senator Ron Alting says he tried getting lawmakers on board to fund them with lottery money, but wasn't successful. We need uh, to fund them so it doesn't go on the backs of county government. Martin is also hopeful the state will help fund hyperbaric oxygen therapy to help Hoosier veterans with PTSD. We estimate over 60,000 veterans in Indiana probably need this treatment. And again, uh, we want to get this done uh, for our veterans throughout the state of Indiana. Senator Alting says allocating more money next session is going to be very tough due to the pandemic, but they're going to do their best not to cut anything. Martin hopes lawmakers come through for them despite the state's financial hardship. We do bring $3.2 billion into the state economy. And um, again, a small business that did that kind of stuff would the, the legislators roll over and make sure that they're taken care of and they keep them in the community. Kayla Sullivan, CBS 4 News. And CBS4 will continue to honor our veterans with a special broadcast later tonight. We'll be airing stories from our Veterans Voices series, telling the stories of our Hoosier heroes. The special broadcast starts at 7 o'clock right here on CBS4. Hurricane Watch.